Hey guys, it's Daryl here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm breaking out my full guitar rig and we're going to compare that up against Bias Effects software. So it should be an interesting comparison. Let's get started. <laughs> Over the last decade, digital modeling solutions for guitarists has made leaps and bounds. You've got outboard units like Axe FX and Kemper, and you've got software solutions like Bias Effects, which we're going to look at today. But how does that sound up against a traditional guitar rig? So we're going to take a look at the rigs really quickly, and then we're going to do some sound comparisons. All right, let's take a look. All right, so the gear that we're going to be using for the traditional guitar rig is a Mesa Boogie Blue Angel amp, which is an all tube combo, and it's going to be powering a custom cabinet as well. And we're going to mic that up in stereo. So we're going to use an NT1 and an NT3 by Rode, and then we're going to hard pan them. So you'll get a nice, big, wide um, uh, guitar sound. And we're also going to be throwing in some boutique pedals as well. So let's see what Bias Effects has to offer that can counter that. Okay, so now that we've taken a look at our traditional guitar rig, let's look at the virtual one. And one of the really cool things about Bias Effects is I can recreate what I have in the real world through the software. So you can see we've got a splitter here, and then we've got two amps, just like we have in the real world. So we've sort of got a Marshall type one, but you can set it up with a bunch of different amps through the software. I'll just scroll through a few of them here so that you guys can see them. There's a ton of different options, which is really cool. And also you can change the cab. So what I've done is mimicked again what we have in the real world. So we've got a 112 combo, but again, there's a ton to choose from. And then we've got a choice between a condenser microphone or a dynamic. So if you want the dynamic, you just click there. But again, we're gonna choose the condenser and you can also choose how far away it is from the speaker and where on the speaker you want it. So again, really cool so I can mimic what I have and uh, yeah, when we hear these sounds back to back, we'll, we'll see uh, yeah, if it sounds convincing. And then for the second one, very similar, we've got sort of a Marshall type head and then a 112 cab, just like the real world. And uh, again, we've got the mic, but condenser. And instead of being on the dust cap, we're gonna go on the edge of the speaker. Again, just like how I have it set up in the real, real world. And then you've got a little mixer section here and you can set the levels, um, you can set the pan. So what we're gonna do is hard pan it just like we did. There we go. And we're gonna also delay one of the sides to create a really spacious sound. So one thing I've gotta say about the software is that it's incredibly intuitive. If you wanna add some effects, you just hit the button here, add effects, and you've got a ton to choose from. You've got gates, compressors, boost pedals, drive pedals, EQs, mods, delays, reverbs. And if you want one, you just simply grab it, throw it in the signal chain. So if you want your reverb at the end, which you probably would, there you go. If you want a boost pedal, you just click on that, treble booster, boom, throw it in front and it just sort of moves everything along. If you want some drive pedals, you want some uh, fuzz face, boom, there you go. So it's super easy to use. Um, yeah, and really guitar player friendly. For the traditional rig, I'm gonna keep the amp totally clean and I'm gonna use the breakup sound of this JHS double barrel. And I'm gonna be using the Morning Glory side, which is sort of a blues breaker clone.
For a second sound comparison, we're going to be using a lightly overdriven rhythm track with an up high chimey delay sound. And for the traditional rig, we're going to be using this uh, Empress Super Delay, which is the vintage modified version. Okay, for a final comparison, we're going to be using a high gain sound, and for the traditional rig, we are going to be adding this Wampler Triple Rack. So some final thoughts on this comparison. The software sounded amazingly good. It was very convincing, and I don't think I could point to one sound or the other and say, I have to have that sound. They both sounded really excellent. And you know what? When you consider the effort it takes to mic up and record a traditional rig, you know, you need the amp and the cab, you need mics, you need mic stands, you need mic cables and the pedal board, you need the board itself, you need some way to power all those pedals, you need all the patch cables and the pedals themselves. It's very expensive to, to set it all up. And if you're a gigging musician, sure, it makes a lot of sense. But if you're just somebody who lives at home or in an apartment where you can't have loud amps or you create content for YouTube like I do, or you just want something to practice your scales over, you know, you want some guitar sounds when you're playing over backing tracks, it makes a lot of sense. And this software costs less than an individual guitar pedal. So I think the basic version is 79 bucks and the pro version is 179 you know, very affordable in the grand scheme of things. So yeah, it's a bit of a no-brainer for me. And whether you use it exclusively or just, you know, when you're at home, you use it, it makes a lot of sense to look into it. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this comparison. Let me know in the comments below whether you like the bias effect software or the traditional amp rig, and we will see you guys next Monday for another video. Take care.